So I'm Brunagero Falini. I am the head of the Institute of Hematology and Bone Marrow Transplantation at the University of Perugia, Italy. And the topic of my presentation today has been uh, uh, cell leukemia, which is a very curious disease, which is characterized morphologically by the presence uh, of airy projection on the tumor cells. And uh, clinically, this disease presents with uh, pancytopenia uh, and marked splenomegaly in absence uh, of lymphadenopathy. Sometimes it can be difficult to, to recognize uh, morphologically and uh, immunophenotypically ericell leukemia from other disorders that can, be, can morphologically simulate ericell leukemia. Uh, this disease is very sensitive to therapy with a purine analog, uh, such as uh, cladribrin and pentostatin. Uh, however, uh, about 40 to 50 percent of patients uh, uh, relapse uh, uh, during the course of the disease. So there is uh, clearly uh, space, room for improvement uh, in this uh, kind of pathological condition. And the uh, breakthrough came from uh, uh, our institution in 2011 when we discovered that uh, uh, ericell leukemia uh, is caused by a genetic lesion uh, occurring uh, involving the uh, BRAF gene. So this, is, uh, this uh, basic uh, research has uh, resulted immediately in uh, clinical improvement, both uh, in uh, diagnosis uh, and therapy of ericell leukemia. Now we have uh, a genetic test based on the search for uh, BRAF V600D mutation that uh, can distinguish, can distinguish uh, with uh, uh, certainty between uh, ericell leukemia uh, from other uh, uh, disorders that uh, can simulate ericell leukemia, such as uh, uh, HCL variant or uh, splenic lymphoma with uh, uh, lymphocytes, villous lymphocytes. Uh, and uh, uh, which are treated in a different way as compared to uh, ericell leukemia. Uh, most importantly, uh, the BRAF mutation is uh, a target uh, for uh, BRAF inhibitor, uh, which were uh, uh, initially used in uh, uh, metastatic melanoma that, were, that we translated uh, in the therapy of uh, refractory relapsed uh, ericell leukemia patient. In the uh, first trial, we have uh, using uh, uh, Vemurafinib alone, uh, which is a BRAF inhibitor, uh, in a refractory relapsed uh, uh, patient, uh, we uh, observed an overall response rate of uh, about uh, 95 percent uh, with uh, uh, 60 percent of a partial remission and uh, uh, 65 percent of partial remission, 35 percent of uh, uh, complete remission, uh, which are uh, lasting at least in patients uh, who achieve uh, 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 complete remission for about for a median of uh, 90 months. Uh, all these cases were uh, relapse. Uh, because uh, uh, there are uh, always uh, a minimal percentage uh, ranging between 5 and 10 percent of residual vemurafenib resistant cells in, in, the, bomb, in the bone marrow. Uh, in the second trial, we try to uh, eradicate this uh, residual disease uh, combining uh, vemurafenib uh, with rituximab. And this uh, has uh, uh, resulted in a marked improvement of the results uh, as compared to vemurafenib alone, uh, because uh, with this uh, uh, combination therapy, now we are able uh, uh, to achieve uh, complete remission in uh, about 95% of cases as compared to 35% of the vemurafenib alone. We achieved this goal in a, a more rapid uh, uh, way uh, in about four weeks as compared to eight weeks. 
And most importantly, uh, we have uh, about 65% uh, uh, of uh, minimal residual disease uh, negative patient uh, uh, as compared to uh, no minimal residual disease uh, in patient treated with uh, uh, vemurafenib alone. So uh, we think that this is uh, the new standard of therapy uh, for uh, erysal leukemia uh, refractory uh, or relapsed. And the trial for the future are uh, uh, double targeting of uh, uh, MAP kinase pathway using uh, BRAF inhibitor and MAC inhibitors uh, alone uh, in combination uh, with or without uh, obinotuzumab. And I think that with this kind of results, uh, uh, there is a space uh, to compete with uh, chemotherapy. So a trial uh, comparing uh, uh, vemurafenib plus rituximab versus cladribrine, cladribrine uh, plus rituximab is uh, going to start. Thank you for uh, uh, listening to this uh, presentation. I invite you to join you the European School of European uh, Hematology and Media Online. Thank you.